Well, hi guys, I hope you're all doing well. This is Michael with Michael Gibbons Media. I hope you're all having a good day. I thought I'd show you guys a quick tutorial. This is uh, footage I've shot with my friend Eric Potter. That's him right there. The man is mental and I love him for it. We decided a couple months back to do some fire breathing and film it and wow, was that footage spectacular. Uh, it turned out great. So happy with it. And what we ended up doing with a lot of it was just remix it, put it to a dubstep track and then just run with it that way. One of the fun things we did with this footage was not only putting it to a dubstep track, but was having a little bit of fun with the editing. Now, of course, you can watch your footage going forward and do all the, doing all the normal stuff. But what happens when you slow it down and put it in reverse? Well, something so much more cool. Because you've got that big giant cloud of flame, but then you've got the over-exaggerated motion, and it's just brilliant what you can do with it. But throwing it forward again, you get to see what's going on. Well, fair enough. But what I want to show you is how you take this normal kind of stuff and turn it into something a little bit more interesting. First of all, I want you guys to find the clip you're wanting to use. I'm going to use this one right here. And then I'm going to copy it. I'm going to paste it. That's Control C, then Control V on the PC. And you're going to have your piece of footage wherever you want it. You of course can take it from your timeline, drag it down, do whatever you do. You guys know how it's done. But then, once we've got it in place, I want you guys to select your clip. Now, press Control R. Once again, this is for Windows. And it will pop this new little window. This is the clip speed duration window. Now, what you want to do, first of all, is to make this go in reverse. Click reverse speed. Nothing complex at all. Hit OK. And I'll show you guys the difference. Here we go. And whoa. Back we go. Now, at 100%, you know, it looks kind of cartoonish. Part of that's got to do with the high shutter speed we shot at, but also because, well, backward motion just looks weird. It's just not natural. Now, because you don't want this, you want to go back to your window, pressing Control R, and have a look at this at the speed. Now, you can either use the slider and go to the very smallest, minutest, or you can push it all the way up into the thousands, I'm going to suggest for where we are, we want this to be no lower than 40% if you're shooting at 60 frames a second. But the big thing for you right now is that if you drop this below, let's, let's put it 8%, right? We'll show you a rough idea of what it looks like. We'll render a couple of frames at the very beginning just so we can have a quick idea. I'll just show you how rough this looks. Now if you're going to use a plugin like Twixter, fair enough, you do it. But this is Adobe Premiere Pro and we're just going to run with this for now because this is what more people have. Perfect. Now that's it rendered and here we are going at minus 8% and you see how that's going? It just looks slow, it looks jumpy, uh, you'll see a little bit more soon. It looks really pretty much like a bad GIF. Uh, or, or a bad home TV movie that you had in the 90s on VCR. Now, it emphasizes the movement, yes, but there is not enough detail and everything will just look jerky and shoddy and kind of rubbish, to be honest. So this is why you really want to keep it, if you're using normal kind of footage, at around about 40%. So let's put that back, 40. And we're going to hit play. And you still have that cool speed, but at the same time you're not losing anything. And if anything, I think you're adding a whole lot to this. But yeah guys, it's really simple what you got to do. you got to take your clip, copy and paste it, press Ctrl R, change it as you please, and mess around until you're happy. I would suggest not going too fast or too slow. Somewhere with a good medium will keep you solid. That's the name of the game. You really want stuff to be subtle. Don't overdo it. But anyway guys, I'll leave you with a couple images from the rest of that shoot. As I give you all the contact information, I'm on Twitter, 
Michael L. Gibbons is the name, the website, Michael Gibbons Media. If you guys want any more tutorials or have any questions, leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I love you all. Take it easy.